Hello everyone. Excuse the way I look, I just woke up. I haven't even had breakfast yet. <laughs> and I also really didn't think I'd be doing this kind of video. But I just woke up, realized that I haven't recorded a video yet, and thought, What the hell am I doing? Get to it! So I just went with the first thing that came into mind, and I'm going with a comment right now. Um, one of the reasons that I haven't uploaded yet, I'll get to the point of my video in a minute, but one of the reasons I haven't uploaded yet, or come up with any ideas like I normally do, is because this past week has been really busy for a summer week. For instance, we were moving that around... had to take my old bed, turn it into a couch, put it over there, moved in some new mattresses, cleared out my entire room. It was painful. <laughs> and it's not even finished. I still got a ton of stuff out there in the living room, in the bathroom, in the hallway. Even in the kitchen, I have stuff in there. Boy, this house is a mess, and it's just my room that we've been working on. Anyway, this particular video is not one you would expect me to do, but I'm out of ideas, and I decided to go with a comment. So, the idea here is how to pick up girls. No, I don't mean, like, going up to one honking your horn and expecting them to get in. That's the wrong kind of girl, trust me. But, let me just start out by saying that if you want to pick up a girl, you have to make sure it's the right girl. Otherwise, guess what's going to happen? You're going to get screwed over. Yeah, I can tell you from experience that if it's not the right girl, you're gonna end up screwed over, probably left in a ditch somewhere, that, you know, that's the, the less likely scenario, as they say. Anyway, another way not to pick up girls is having a pickup truck, running them over and expecting them to fly into the bed of the truck. Not, yeah, you're not Trevor, don't try that. Don't try that at home, don't try that downtown, just do not try that. Anyway, the real answer on picking up girls, it's going to sound very cliche, and I'm pretty sure if you looked up this video, you'd probably get the same answer from any other YouTuber. Just be yourself. Yeah, I know, cliche, right? I'm a cliche person, what can you expect? Yeah, if you want a girl, you have to be yourself. Don't be like me and be a complete weirdo or something like that. Why do you think I can't get a girlfriend? It's because I'm a real weirdo. It wouldn't work for me. But, yeah, just be you. Be human. And if you really want to ask a girl out, offer them something like, I don't know, flowers something. Yes, I know that'd be a little weird, and if they rejected you, it'd be embarrassing as hell, but what can you do, you know? Life is full of embarrassments. It's one thing or the other, though. It's a one thing or the other scenario. You either ask her and she says yes, or you ask her and she says no, and it's really embarrassing. I mean, hey, I guess it's all in the delivery of how you ask her out, but <sighs> as a guy with a history of being rejected a lot, I can tell you, rejection is not as bad as it seems. If you get rejected, big deal. Nothing you can do about it. It's not the end of the world. 
though it does feel like it. Anyway, um, on how to pick up guys, this, this is probably for the female viewers, of which there are probably none, but if you wanted to pick up a guy, it's kind of different. No, by stereotypes, guys are not all into sex, I can assure you of that. But if you wanted to pick up a guy, don't use him. Don't use him for his money. Don't use him for anything like that. Just like with a girl. Pick someone who you like for them, not for their body or for the stuff they own or the stuff they say. Because sometimes some of the stuff they say isn't even true. So, yeah, really, it's not all that different when you're going to try and pick up a guy, but as you can see, there are differences. So, really, it's just be yourself and try to go for somebody who is themselves, if that makes any sense. I know being yourself probably isn't a good thing if you're a really weird, rude, evil person. Unless you got a sense of humor, then you give it a try, but... Um, you know, being yourself is probably the best answer. I, I don't know what else to say, because this is a last-minute video. It is currently... 6 or 7 in the morning right now. I just woke up, realized I haven't recorded a video, and I'm not even wearing a bloody shirt. I, I couldn't fall back asleep, so I just had to record something. And currently, I can't really find anything around here to do. Because my room's been cleared out. Anyway... Yeah, if, if there's any more videos that you want me to do, just leave it in the comments and I will try my best. Because this was just a comment from one person and that was it. And I was out of ideas, so there you go.